Hi everyone, we're going to take a look at a U substitution problem that requires two substitutions into the integrand, and hence we call it a double substitution problem. We're going to begin by taking a look at our integrand and determining what we should allow u to equal. If you take a look at what we have, it looks like we should allow u to equal the 2x minus 1, the radicand of the radical term. We're going to go ahead and find du, which we find to be 2dx. So in place of the dx, once we divide over the 2, we are going to substitute 1 half du. Now you'll notice, though, we have this extra x that typically we don't have. Usually through the substitution process, we are able to eliminate parts of the integrand that were given. Here we are not. And this is where it becomes a double substitution problem. We're going to go back to what we allowed u to equal, and we're going to solve that for x. In doing so, we have u plus 1 divided by 2 is equal to x. So in place of the x that we have left over in the integrand, we're going to substitute u plus 1 over 2. Let's go ahead and rewrite what we have now. So we have the antiderivative. In place of x, we have u plus 1 over 2. Square root of 2x minus 1. Remember, we allowed the 2x minus 1 to be u, so that would be square root of u. I'm going to write it as u to the 1 half, though, because I'll be needing it that way in just a minute. And in place of dx, I have 1 half du. Continuing to rewrite, you'll notice we have these twos in the denominator. So to the very front, multiplying them, we can pull out a one-fourth antiderivative. Now I'm going to go ahead and multiply the u plus 1 times the u to the 1 half. So I end up distributing the u to the 1 half over the u plus 1. And in doing so, I get u to the 3 halves plus u to the 1 half. Now I can go ahead and do my antiderivative simply by using the power rule for integrals. I'll leave the 1 fourth out in the very front. Antiderivative of u to the 3 halves, remember we're adding 1 to the exponent and then dividing by that new exponent. Therefore we get 2 fifths u to the 5 halves plus doing the same to u to the 1 half, we get 2 thirds u to the 3 halves plus c. We could go ahead and distribute the 1 fourth into the quantity that you see in the square brackets. And at the same time, we can substitute our 2x minus 1 back in place of our u's. Our final answer then is 1 tenth 2x minus 1 to the 5 halves plus 1 sixth 2x minus 1 to the 3 halves plus c. Remember, we easily could take our derivative of this, simplify it, and we would obtain our original integrand back again. I encourage you to try that. This does require quite a bit of simplifying, though, once you take the derivative, including the factoring out of a greatest common factor. And that's how you'll get it back to the original integrand.